Back with Bubba O'Neill, there is regional wrestling. The swim conference season has ended. It's non-qualifier week, but the state's coming up next after that, so essentially the season's over with that outside of state. And then middle school girls basketball. Uh, Evanston's actually hosting the Southwest District Conference. So first, let's start with that, with the Southwest District Conference. You have games going on that day at the high school gym, and then EMS and DMS are going to be running all day long as well so that's got to be a busy day as far as the facilities just being ready and and volunteers right we have five gyms going on saturday with with different groups playing and it's a great day for evanston the community because there'll be a lot of people in here not only kids but their parents and they'll be in spending money and that's what it's all about uh, when you when you get that that side of it um, but it's also a great opportunity for our kids to play one last time before their season's over. So uh, the the district basketball tournament something that uh, I volunteered to start a couple of years ago, um, and we've done it for, I think this will be our third or fourth year, and it's gone over pretty well. Our coaches do a lot of that work between Donna and, and those guys that get it organized and, and create the opportunity. Then with swimming, uh, we had a, a conference champion diver in Isaiah Savage, Brock Sponnenberg, uh, the other senior, finishes third. Those two have been qualifying for state since they were freshmen. And now that they're seniors, they're headed into state as two of the top five ranked divers in the entire state looking for a potential one-two placement at state. Swimming, Dylan Phillips finished top six in two of his events, and so did Brandon Sitz finished uh, on sixth place in two of his events as well. So small team. I don't think they even have double digits at this point, but certainly some quality from some of our swimmers. Right, and that's the time of year you reward those kids that put a lot of the hard work in. And, you know, it's funny, I was I was kind of poking a jab at uh, – one of our divers and asking him why he took fifth because the expectation is definitely better than that and he reminded me that he didn't take fifth they are two of the top divers in the in the state and that's kind of exciting i think uh, for the swim and dive program Uh, a lot of hard work put in by those young men and they're going to get to go show off in a couple of weeks uh, what they can do and maybe we'll come home with a a medalist in 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 that area well that's my fault why you thought he finished fifth because i said that to, to you on monday i put that on the radio and then wednesday i had to go and say on the radio by the way that information i got was bad i was confused by the swimming results online then finally with regional wrestling i asked coach wagstaff he had any regional champions in the room and he said about 14 of them what are your expectations for this team going in against a strong Green River team, but everything else is up for grabs? You know, uh, I said this when Green River came here. I felt like we could compete with them uh, and had a chance to beat them. And I, I look at the group of wrestlers we've got right now. The senior class is pretty darn special. Not many of those come along uh, like we've got coming. And, and I think they're going to do a great job. And they've got a chance to win the conference title. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they, they didn't accomplish that. And we'll have several kids. Um, that will have a chance to, to wrestle in the finals on Saturday, and that's exciting as well. But this is all about getting ready for the state tournament. Now, the other stuff, that's, that's neat to get a conference title. That's, that's neat to, to win the regional tournament. But to go and win a state title, that's what it's all about for those, those individual kids that, that are pretty darn good, and we have a lot of pretty darn good kids. Finally, off the topic of Evanston sports, it's starting to melt out there, but I know you're big into fishing. Do you do any ice fishing, or are you waiting for it to melt? Yeah. Uh, not much ice fishing. I go a couple of times a year, and that's about it. Just no time. Uh, in our department, we're working six days a week, and that really leaves Sunday to spend any time with your family or or uh, to just get a break. And so, no, I don't really get to do much of the ice fishing stuff, and I can't wait till the ice gets off and we can get out there. And there'll be some opportunities for me to go and fish after the winter sports seasons are over, and we're kind of in between. Paul O'Neill, thank you very much. Thanks for having me.